Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Miss Nucha and this is my dog Coco who is really smelly today. She needs a bath in the worst way. She was outside digging around and she really, really smells. But story time must go on. So today's letter is the letter U. I'm so excited. I have a basket of things and I hope you can figure out what's in the basket. So let's get started. So letter today is U. And I have some items in here. Can you guess what they are? What do you change every day? They go under your clothes. And they start with the letter U. Can you guess? Underwear! Starts with the letter U. What else do I have in here? What do you use to eat? What do you use? Use. Can you guess? It starts with the letter U. Utensils. A spoon, a fork, and a knife. They're called utensils. What do we call a magical creature that we find in books? A unicorn. It starts with the letter U. One more thing. What do we use when it rains to keep us dry? Can you guess? Can you guess? An umbrella! Good job, everyone. Wasn't that fun? Look around the house and see if there's anything else in your house that starts with the letter U. It's a lot of fun. The letter U is for unicorn. And here we have one, two, three, four, five lovely, lovely unicorns. Boys and girls, you know what a unicorn is? Right, right. It's a magical creature. And if you like, we have a lot of books at the library about unicorns, so check one out and read a book about a unicorn. So let's count them again. One, two, three, four, five. Now sing along with me. Five magic unicorns, yes, they have shiny horns, looking so sparkly and bright, shiny. One trot it far away, so she can dance and play. Now there are just four unicorns, nay, nay. One, two, three, four. Four magic unicorns, yes, they have shiny horns, looking so sparkly and bright, shiny. One trotted far away, so she can dance and play. Now there are just three unicorns, nay, nay. One, two, three. Three magic unicorns, yes, they have shiny horns, looking so sparkly and bright, shiny. One trotted far away, so she can dance and play. Now there are just two unicorns, nay, nay. Two magic unicorns, yes, they have shiny horns, looking so sparkly and bright, shiny. One trot it far away, so she can dance and play. Now there is just one unicorn, nay, nay. One magic unicorn, yes, he has a shiny horn, looking so sparkly and bright, shiny. He trot it far away, so he can dance and play. Now there are no magic unicorns. Nay, nay, all gone. What do we have left? A rainbow. Wasn't that fun? The letter U is for, what do we hold when we go outside and it's raining? 
to keep us dry? Can you guess? Boys and girls, guess. <gasps> right, an umbrella. And this is the story of Hilda. She's grumpy today because it's been raining all day, all day. And she wants to go out and play. So let's begin our story. It's called A Rainy Spring Day. Hilda pressed her nose against the window and watched the raindrops falling. I wish it would stop raining. I want to go outside and play. Why don't we go for a walk in the rain, Mother said. What can we do in the rain, asked Hilda. We'll get all wet. If you wear your raincoat, hat, and boots and carry your umbrella, you won't get wet, Mother told her. Hilda and her mother got ready to go for a walk in the rain. Hilda put on her raincoat, her rain hat, her rain boots, her pretty pink rain, rain boots. Oh, don't cover your eyes. And her lovely red umbrella. Then they both were ready and they went outside to walk in the rain. They walked for a while making splashes. Do you like to make splashes in the puddles? As they walked, it was so much fun. They saw a toad, ribbit, 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 hopping along in front of them, ribbit, 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 ribbit. Toads love the rain, mother said. I still don't like the rain, complained Hilda. Hilda and her mother walked a little bit further and they came to a pond where a duck was swimming. Quack, 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 quack. Ducks love the rain, mother said. I don't like the rain, Hilda said. Hilda and her mother kept walking in the rain and soon, quack, 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 Soon, they came to a worm. <gasps> Look at the worm in the ground. Mother said, worms love the rain. I don't like the rain, said Hilda. The worm just crawled away. Even though Hilda was grumpy and complaining as they walked in the rain, Mother kept on going. It was just as they were nearing a park. Let's get closer to the park. Walk, 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 walk. Okay, you're near the park. <gasps> what do we see at the park? We see a tree. They saw a patch of green. And poking right above that was a flower, a daffodil. Look at the beautiful daffodil poking from the ground. And mother said, flowers love the rain. It gives them a drink and makes them grow, said mother. And Hilda said, I like to see flowers grow, Hilda said excitedly. So I think I'm going to start liking April showers. I think it's fun to walk in the rain. And Hilda's mother smiled, the end. Here you are, Hilda. You can have a daffodil. The end. Do you know what these are? They start with the letter U. Umbrella! And here we have one, two, three, four, five. Five lovely umbrellas. Do we know the colors? Right, pink. Right, purple. You know this one? Green. And this one is the color of a banana. Yellow. And this one is huh, the color of an apple. Red. So let's begin our rhyme. Five umbrellas waiting for rain to pour. Pink was picked. And now there are four. One, two, three, four. Four umbrellas saying, pick me, pick me. Yellow was taken and now there are three. One, two, three. Three umbrellas wondering what to do. Purple was chosen 
And now there are two, two umbrellas waiting for some fun. Red was picked, and now there is one, one little umbrella. All the rain is done. He went home, and now there are none. Which one is this one? Green. Good job, everyone. The end. So we're gonna do a rhyme. And it's called Up the Hill. Up starts with the letter U. And do you know how a turtle moves? Really, really slow. A rabbit goes point, point, point. An elephant goes boom, boom, thud, thud, thud. A snake slithers. And if a rock were to come down the hill, it would go boom, boom, boom. So let's begin. Here goes a turtle up the hill. Creepy, 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 creepy. Here goes a rabbit up the hill. Point, point, point. Here goes an elephant up the hill. Thud, thud, thud. Here goes a snake up the hill. Slither, 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 slither. Here comes a rock down the hill. Boom, 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 crash. Good job, everyone. That was fun. Up starts with the letter U. We have a new book at the library and it's called Ravi's Roar by Tom Percival. It's a lovely book about Ravi. He's the youngest in his family and the smallest. And most of the time it's okay. He can't reach the, the bars at the park and he can't find anybody. He's the smallest. He's, he's used to it. But one day he had enough when they ran out of ice cream. It made him so upset that he became a lion. And most of the time he can control his temper, but one day, he lets the tiger within him out. It's a good book. It's lovely. I read it to my grandson and it's lovely. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun at rhyme time with the letter U. We certainly did. Next week, our letter is going to be V. I wonder what starts with the letter V. Coco, we're going to have to figure that out. And if you haven't already done so and Maybe you know about it, maybe you don't. We have uh, free craft bags on Tuesdays between 10 and 12 and Thursdays between 6 and 8 o'clock. You can watch the video and it'll give you the, the uh, um, where to go. And uh, do follow along, Art with Miss Choate, and have fun with these crafts. They're a lot of fun. And at the end of this video, Click on the link below, Art with Miss Jo. She's prepared another lovely craft for you. And have fun with it. And thank you so much for joining me. And we'll see you real soon. So let's say goodbye, Coco. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Bye, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. See you soon. Bye.